Hey, this is an overview of how to use the Flickr Offloader. The Flickr Offloader is an application that I built. It's available in the Windows Store, and it is for getting all of your photos off of Flickr. Now, Flickr is a way of doing this, but unfortunately what I've found is that if you try to get your photos off of Flickr by selecting them and doing a bulk download or using their bulk download option, the downloads will fail if the file sizes are pretty big. And now I've got about 40 gigs worth of stuff on Flickr, so that was happening to me pretty frequently. Instead, I wrote this application. Uh, now, if you download the application, you can get it off the Windows Store. Look for Flickr Offloader, and you download it. You open it, and the first thing you're going to see is enter your Flickr API key. You're going to need an API key. You can click on this link to go get it, and I've got a video uh, you can click on how to, you know, how to go through the process of getting the API key. I'm going to grab mine here. And enter it here, and we're going to apply that key. This is the key we're going to use. Uh, we need to use we need to use an individual key. You can't use mine because we can only download we can only uh, use the API 3,600 times per hour. That's one time per second. So there is going to be a little bit of a it's going to be a little bit of a slow download. Um, we pick our folder, backup folder, a new uh, Flickr demo that up all right okay so we've got our and we can change any of that flip the API key or the download folder now the one thing that we have here is we're going to download the folder photos into folders by year and month that means we're going to create a tree of uh, of all of our photos in the year that we per, uh, the year that we took the picture and then the month that we took the picture I find that to be just easy uh, easy way to organize so I find the username that we want to offload I'm going to use my own username get the user photos now this is going to take a minute because we've got to get through photos 500 photos per page for all the pages that we have and when that is done it's going to it's going to have it's going to tell us okay here are the total files we have i've got 7726 files to download we have no files already downloaded and it's going to take us about eight hours but we're going to go ahead and say okay download and then it'll show you the photo that it's downloading as it downloads it it's going to download one photo about every two seconds because it needs to grab two. It needs to make two API calls uh, for every photo that it downloads in order to get all the information to do the do the right kind of download. So once you've got that, you sit there and you let it run, and it'll take all of your photos, strip them off of Flickr, and dump them into your hard drive. Uh, it's only going to grab the public photos because uh, in order to get private photos, you have to do an OAuth, and I felt that was going to be too much work because we have to I wanted to get this out quickly so uh, bef as Flickr moves over to SmugMug you can get all of your stuff off Flickr and not have to worry about SmugMug smug mug at all so that is how you use the Flickr downloader I hope you enjoy it I hope it's helpful